right in the previous video we ended up arriving at um, a means to reduce the energy content in the ration by substituting a little bit of the maize for wheat of our now but we also uh, acknowledge that that would throw up the protein content a little bit in the ration the thing to note is one this is this is where you begin to look at the real life application now the reality is not textbook approach the truth of matter is that it is safer to allow a little bit of excess protein um, in the ration than having excess energy in the ration but then again that also depends on the animal but generally protein if you were to say okay we have a little bit the, the protein is gotten higher than we actually want it's actually safer to allow that than to allow yourself feed a ration that's having excess energy content to the animal because it has a greater number of implications direct impact on the animal okay so that's why we tend in f in SFRA for instance when we were still in UI like I said that's one of the things we did we actually found out that we could safely ignore whatever slight increases in protein contribution were made because we did a substitution to correct a high energy uh, that resulted in from a ration we derived so we, we found it was safer to do that then again we're going to look at some examples of how you can use what you call substitution so you, you mean you have this desired target content of energy or protein and then you have to substitute some other ingredient for the ingredient that's on hand so as to bring it down or to raise it up for instance the protein is low you, you want to get it higher and you want to do that by substituting this particular ingredient for another ingredient okay we're going to go through some examples of how to do that i'm starting here with the maize and with offal where we're trying to raise the uh, reduce the energy constant of ration like the previous example okay the caloric energy of the ration is 2.65 that's the, what the actual value is but the desired energy is 2.26 and then the width of all has 1.9 which we already know from previous example now so the uh, energy of the ingredients which is going to be substituted is 3.4 and that's maize so we know about what is called the excess caloric density from the previous, uh, previous example so we did the d deduction 2.25 subtracted from 2.65 and we know this issue of being compounded in 100 gram of ration is for uh, for example you could be compounding in, in what other quantity of ration the thing is once you know what unit of measurement you're using and you know what quantity you're working with you can always do your conversions so this is then this is why this process tends to be a bit cumbersome for people it tends to be a bit challenging but a guy who's running a farm has to go through this process too and every time something changes he has to go through this process again this is the reason why the computerization became necessary but understanding the manual computation process and the reasoning behind it the logic enables you to use the software or the computer much more intelligently and successfully that's the whole idea now so this is to be compounded in a hundred gram of ration therefore the excess caloric density per hundred gram of ration will be the 0 0.4 we had okay multiplied by 100 which will give us 40 kilocalorie calories of metabolizable energy per hundred gram of ration okay and um the, I hope you know how, uh, I'm hoping you can see how we got the 0 0.4, which is the difference between the 2.65 and the 2.25. That's the calori excess caloric density. That's what we multiply by 100 here. Now, the substitution value of maize to wheat of her will then be the difference between the energy values of the two. And that gives us, just like the other example, 1.5 kilocalories per 100 grams. The quantity of wheat of her, therefore, to replace maize will just be what we derived before using the excess caloric density which is the 40 kilocalories divided by 1.5 kilocalories and that will tell us the, you see we've just you've just cancelled out the energy uh, units okay and then what you're left with is the quantity and that's why we have the plus or minus 26.66 in other words you can either increase the amount of wheat of our by 26.6 percent and reduce maize you can increase the amount of wheat of power by 26.6 percent and take out the same amount of maize okay and that will correct this energy difference we're having and bring your energy the ration's energy content down to the 2.26 we want